Now at five tonight, a well-known South Jersey youth coach is being charged with sexually assaulting a teenager. Police say the incident happened just last week at the 73-year-old's home in Cumberland County. Tuesday night, Shari's off. Sarah Bloomquist is joining us. And the big story on Action News is the alarming arrest that has sent shockwaves through the Bridgeton community tonight. Action News reporter Trish Hartman joins us with more now on the investigation. Trish. Well, Sarah, Rick, police say this victim did not know Marino through any of the local sports organizations that he was involved with. Still, police have notified these organizations after this man was arrested and charged with sexual assaults. 73-year-old Robert Marino, better known as Ronnie, was arrested last week and charged with sexually assaulting a teen. Marino, police say, was a well-known youth sports coach in the area. It's just shocking. He was always a nice guy, good football coach, everything. I can't say nothing bad about him. Eric Comer says Marino was his youth football coach in the 80s. He was stunned to hear of the charges against him. Police say Marino sexually assaulted a 16-year-old in his home on Nixon Avenue last week. According to the arrest warrant, Marino showed the victim pornography and on another occasion gave the victim a shot of alcohol, which made him sleepy. The victim told police he later woke up to Marino sexually assaulting him. According to police documents, the following morning, the victim recorded himself confronting Marino. Marino apologized for what he did. While police say the victim did not know Marino through any sports teams, authorities have notified all organizations with which Marino was involved. Marino is listed as the property manager for West Cumberland Little League in Bridgeton. Today, in a statement, the league told Action News he is no longer associated or involved with the organization. Now, we attempted to reach an attorney for Marino. We were unable to do so today. Marino is still behind bars. He has a detention hearing scheduled for Thursday. Anyone with any information on Marino or the investigation is asked to contact Bridgeton Police. Reporting live in Bridgeton, New Jersey, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News. Yeah, it's a disturbing case, Trish. Thank you.